The Packers held their rookie minicamp over the weekend where they had 48 players come in and it was really a bit of an orientation to the program, um, including a few tr tryouts in those numbers where they were able to participate, kind of get their kit, get their lockers, all these kind of things. And then uh, for those tryouts, try to earn a spot on the uh, 90 man roster, which there are still two spots available on currently. So of those 48, there's 13 draft picks, there's 11 UDFAs, there were nine returning players who are still eligible to participate in a rookie minicamp, and then 14 tryouts. The last one is that one international player, Kenneth Otomegru, who uh, I made a video about, and you can learn a little bit about him up here. He's a six foot five defensive lineman um, from Nigeria. So he's got a pretty interesting story. Go check it out. But again, the, the main purpose of this minicamp is orientation. Like they receive their playbooks. They very, very limited in install per Matt LaFleur, especially as they've got so many people in for tryouts. They don't want to give too much of their program out and then have people go potentially sign elsewhere. But a lot of people in and, you know, just basic, you know, shirts and shorts kind of deal. Nothing crazy. But I'd like to get into some of the video clips that were available out there on Twitter and kind of see what was going on and see what kind of pops off the screen. Understand completely it is, you know, shirts and shorts. It's not, you know, indicative that they're going to be, you know, the next Hall of Fame Packer or anything of that nature. But we've seen a good number of guys come through who look great in, you know, no kit. And once they put on pads, they're a bit of a workout warrior. So without further ado, let's get into the footage. So one of my favorite things for Packers training camp is, you know, players riding up on the bikes. Get a little bit of a similar action here as we got players coming down to get into the practice facility. You see Jaden Reed. You see a couple of the offensive linemen that we picked up. You see Jack Plum, who is actually a local kid, went to Bayport High School. Grandson of Fritz Shermer, uh, former Packers defensive uh, coordinator. You see Dontavion Wicks, Malik Heath rocking that number 18 that he took from Randall Cobb, and then uh, Colby Wooden here as well. And, you know, really just giving the fans a nice little showing as they come into the practice field. It's not as crazy as training camp, but, you know, it's, it's still a good time. And then we see here Kenneth Otomegwu getting dapped up by Matt LaFleur on his first action in a Packers uniform as well. And that's the Nigerian uh, defensive lineman that we picked up through the international player pathway. Um, Matt LaFleur on day one was, uh, you know, down in Madison for a, a cancer research funding event that uh, he was supporting. So Rich Visaccia took the lead and, uh, you know, early on, they started off with some special teams work as as could be expected. So you see, uh, you know, Luke Musgrave and uh, Tucker Craft, amongst others, taking part in some uh, special teams drills. Then we jump right into some quarterback play where we see fifth round pick uh, Sean Clifford getting some action, throwing the ball, um, tossing it here to a few, uh, you know, um, tight ends and then to uh, some running backs and then bringing it out also with uh, with a deep shot to what looks like um, possibly Malik Heath. Uh, you know, the ball seems to look, look like it's coming out pretty decently out of his hand. Um, gets out on the run a little bit. Pretty smooth, fluid mover. Um, athletic for sure. You know, scored in the nines for um, relative athletic score. Uh, and then here, he's going to be doing a little RPO action or a, like a receiver screen kind of throw, and he gets rid of the ball nice and quickly. And we see here Lou Nichols getting involved in the pass game and then taking a handoff from Clifford as well. I'm interested to see how his production from the college ranks, uh, you know, transitions into the NFL. And then there's this pass to UDFA running back Williams, who's in for a tryout. All right, now we see, you know, Luke Musgrave, followed by Tucker Craft getting in on some real quick uh, you know, stop routes and uh, getting some run after catch. You can really see you know, a couple different angles here, the same shots, but you can see their, their quickness and their, uh, their explosiveness taking off after turning and getting upfield, which is you know, a fantastic 
outlet for Jordan Love. You know, seeing that we can get some guys to make a little bit more moves and little do a little bit more after the catch is going to be really nice. Again, you know, Tucker Craft, Luke Musgrave, big, physical, like athletic tight ends that. We haven't seen one of those in Green Bay since probably Jermichael Finley. So it's, uh, it's going to be fun to have them out on the field for us. You see here we had a fullback that went through for the first drill. Just see the difference in the extension here as, uh, as Luke Musgrave gets here. You see how high he gets his pad pushed up in the air. And same here with Tucker Craft as well. Get some good pop on that pad and really drive that thing up in the air. So... You know, they aren't known for their blocking ability, and there's a, probably a long way to go, but seeing just the physical strength that they have and their attention to detail with that is nice. Uh, now we see Jaden Reed here on a few um, few routes. You know, really just a smooth athlete. You know, catches the ball pretty naturally. Uh, I think he's going to be really exciting out of the slot. And then I believe it was Andy Herman reported that they were seeing him in a lot of uh, jet motion kind of deals as well, which I think is going to be a huge part of his role in the offense this year. But he's just quick and he's got such a burst out there. Just look at his feet as he comes to this break here. So smooth and basically no indication that he's going to be stopping. I mean, and the same can be said for Dontavian Wicks as we see a little bit of him here now, like, for the size difference, like he's a, a much taller, you know, a little bit bigger receiver than uh, Jaden Reed is, but he is still like, it pops a little bit looking at him move. He is quick, so don't sleep on, on that from him. He's got a little bit more of a vertical threat um, kind of profile that you'd look at, but I mean, he, he can still move and he is quick in and out of his breaks. And now we see here Kobe Wooden getting in a little action and then uh, Lucas Van Ness getting ready to participate in this drill as well. You, know, just, you look at the size of him compared to some of these guys around him and he just, he looks the part 100%. And here was the undrafted uh, free agent defensive tackle, Brenton Cox, that we brought in. Who's, you know, had a little bit of a checkered pass, but you just see here that burst, it really catches the, you know, the player that was holding the pad off guard almost like just wasn't expecting that level of intensity on that pop. All right. And then we see some of the cornerbacks that get into the, the play here and some really, I guess, defensive backs, not strictly cornerbacks, but start here with uh, defensive back Benny Sapp that we brought in as a UDFA. And he really moves with a, with a nice crisp and quickness to, to how he goes out in this drill. I mean, again, we only have the one clip of him out there, but you know it's, it really draws some attention. It makes me uh, want to pay a little bit more attention to him as we get into you know, more of the off-season program and into training camp. Uh, so I think that's promising. And then Carrington Valentine, same drill here, pops the pad, goes out for for the tackle, and you know he is also popping out there as an athlete as well you know another guy that had a great relative athletic score over nine um, and then we followed up here with a couple clips of Anthony Johnson Jr. our seventh round safety that we picked up and uh, I mean there's a lot of buzz around him as somebody who we might might see get a chance to to compete for that starting safety role um, and ultimately like he he moves with a purpose and he moves under control, which I think is great. Cause like, that's something that we really need at the safety position is a guy that is purposeful, has a little, you know, a little bit of um, a physical edge to him, but does so under control and doesn't just fly around to where he's out of position and makes mistakes. So, you know, that's all the clips that we were able to see, you know, got these clips off of Twitter from some of the profiles like, uh, like, Andy Herman, as I mentioned earlier, from the Packers Twitter page, and um, just a, a few others out there that contributed by posting some of these clips from their presence at the practice. Um, they were only there four sessions per day that they were allowed to uh, 
be present for to observe and report on. But um, in those four sessions, you know, we got a handful of clips here that really, you know, just kind of wet the appetite as we head into the Packers season. Coming out of this um, rookie camp, though, we did see two of the tryout players get signed and long snapper Broughton Hatcher and then cornerback William Hooper, who goes by Hoop, uh, they're saying. Um, and in that process, we also released long snapper Jack Coco, who was our long snapper for every game last year. So we're going to have a little bit of a, a change out there. Um, we do have another long snapper on the roster who's going to be competition there that we brought in through free agency. Um, so we'll see how that goes shaking out, you know, on the special teams side of things. But I'll be definitely keeping, on a, um, keeping my eye on a few of these guys. You know, Jaden Reed is obviously a, a big name out there for them with, you know, really looking at a true slot receiver, which we haven't seen uh, in the Lafleur offense, uh, not, not really at all. And then uh, looking at the safety position where we've got Benny Sapp that came in as an undrafted free agent and Anthony Johnson Jr. and seeing how they fit in and, you know, how they're going to be part of the competition for the safety position. Stay tuned here. Subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up with Packers uh, content as we'll keep things coming out throughout the offseason and uh, look forward to the Jordan Love era.